The Mountain Pride Hybrid Tomato is a big and delicious meaty tomato variety that is very disease resistant. Let's see how to grow this tomato variety in containers. So in our earlier episodes, we saw how to grow different kinds of tomatoes like grape tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. This time we're going to grow a tomato that's a beef steak kind of tomato. These are huge tomatoes that can be grown in containers if you follow the right techniques. For the container, we are using this whiskey barrel, which will provide enough room for this tomato plant to grow. And remember that this Mountain Pride Hybrid is a determinate tomato variety, which means that it will grow, it will produce a lot of tomatoes, and then it will stop growing. It won't grow indefinitely like the indeterminate tomato varieties. So that makes it a good candidate for growing in containers. And that's exactly what you see here. We have secured this tomato plant with this tomato cage. And if you want to take a look at all the tomato cages available, you can see this video on your screen, which will give you the details. And in just a few days in the warm month of June, you can see that the tomato plant has grown pretty well and has almost occupied this entire whiskey barrel container. Now this whiskey barrel container does contain a lot of soil. It's about two or three times the capacity of a five gallon pot and that gives the tomato plant enough room to grow. And as you can see here, this plant has now started flowering and it's about mid-June right now. And you can see a lot of flowers being produced by this plant. And there you can see that I have pruned this plant at some of the uh, nodes. The suckers have been removed right there. And I do this mostly for determinate tomato varieties and that too if I'm growing them in containers. If I'm growing the tomato plants on the ground or in raised beds, I do not prune the plant a lot, but I do remove the diseased and the dead leaves. So in about mid-July, you can see that the plant is loaded with fruits, all these lovely looking tomatoes. And if you think these tomatoes are big, well, just wait and see how big they can get. Now I'd like to mention that when growing tomatoes, one of the keys to growing great tomatoes is to make sure that you prune all dead leaves, diseased stems, make sure that the bottom part of the tomato plant is clean. This allows a lot of air to get in, it prevents fungal diseases for your tomato plants and overall is a very important step in growing tomatoes, something that a lot of us overlook. And as you can see here, in about August, the tomatoes have started ripening. They have started becoming red. So I'm going to go and harvest this tomato from the plant. And my first harvest is usually the one that I ripen on the shelf. And what this does is that it lets me eat some tomatoes while the other tomatoes are ripening on the wine. And once again, the ones ripening on the wine taste a lot better. However, if you want some tomatoes, go ahead and harvest a few. You can ripen them on the shelf easily and use them. And in the hot summer months, you need to water your tomato plants very well. Tomatoes might need watering once a day, sometimes even twice a day in the hot summer months. So make sure that your tomato plant is well hydrated or what will happen is that your fruits will start cracking from the bottom, which is not a good thing. For good looking tomatoes, you need to make sure that you water your tomato plants very well, especially during the growing season, which is the hot summer months. And I won't be discussing much about the kind of fertilizer you need to use for this tomato because I've discussed that on a lot of my other videos. You can see some of those videos on your screen now.
So let's talk a little about this tomato variety. This mountain pride hybrid tomato variety was developed at the North Carolina State University and it was developed as a part of the mountain series of tomatoes and it instantly became a big hit because the plant produced really nice sized tomatoes that were very delicious and the plant is very easy to grow because it is resistant to a lot of diseases which makes it easy for the home gardener to grow this and it also grows great in containers because it's a determinate tomato variety. Now you can grow indeterminate tomato varieties in containers but you have to make sure that you prune your plant well otherwise your plant is going to grow out of control. They're pretty large and they're pretty meaty and we'll soon cut open one tomato to find out how nice they are. But you can see some really good fruits being produced by this tomato plant. So this is our harvest. As you can see, almost perfect tomatoes. I did see a little bit of cracks on the top part of the tomato. However, that's very, very minor. This is a great looking tomato. And let's cut open this tomato to see how it looks like from the inside. So as you can see, very meaty, very nice looking tomato that's perfect for slicing and cooking. And I really like this tomato variety. It was not only easy to grow, but tasted absolutely delicious. Now one thing that I must tell you about this tomato variety, and I've noticed that so far in growing this tomato plant, is that after it produces these large tomatoes on the bottom part of the plant, the top part of the plant just grows to about five feet and then stops. Now this might be just the way the tomato plant grows. However, I'm waiting to see if the plant will still produce more tomatoes. However, late in the season, due to the heat, the high heat, the pollen of the tomato flower becomes unviable, which means that it cannot set fruit. So a lot of you have asked me this question as to why doesn't my tomato plant set fruit? Well, if your temperatures are high, you have to choose varieties that are resistant to high temperatures like the Juliet variety. This tomato variety is a very prolific, very nice tomato variety that I can highly recommend, especially to people who grow them in containers. So that's all for today. Let me know your comments. Let me know if you've tried growing this tomato variety before. And if not, are you planning to grow it? I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.